One thing that I think we've seen in this tournament is the importance and the impact of the five substitutions. Mm-hmm. Um, not everybody liked it when it was introduced or whatever. I think it was necessary because of COVID. It does give managers so much more latitude to change things around. But one thing that struck me was looking at England, and I, I, was, I didn't realize this, but it happened before against Germany, I think, as well. Dominic Calvert-Lewin isn't oh, in yeah, the match so they squad. Tweet. Yeah, you were not now, happy. Well, I don't I'm not happy. I just think it's such an odd, it's such an odd decision. For somebody like Southgate, who, you know, we talk about attention to detail and everything, plan B, I, we defended him before because, oh, look, he puts on Trippier because Trippier's a better penalty taker than Grealish, or he thinks he is, or whatever. Fine. But Dominic Calvert-Lewin is the only center forward you have in your squad, apart from Harry Kane. If at some point something goes wrong, you know, knock on wood, Harry Kane does get injured yeah. occasionally. I'm with he you. might get sent off, whatever. And what happens? Who plays no center sense forward? Whatsoever. I, I've heard I didn't arguments. Get it either. I didn't get it either. I you know. didn't notice until I saw your message. But yeah, it didn't make sense. Hey, what if you need an aerial threat? What exactly. if the other team puts everybody in the box and you just need to start going real one? Exactly. Uh, I even go two up front. If you two go two go down with 25 minutes to go, you go two up front, Calvert Lewin and Kane, and then and then you go. The for argument, it. I guess, is you have Rashford, but then Rashford isn't particularly good in the air. No, he doesn't seem to be fully fit front. in this ah, tournament, yeah. and he's more of a winger anyway. I just Sterling can play up front. Foden, but, but it's not the same. Completely like different profile. Again, not against the three monsters at the back for Denmark for example yeah so I'm with you why does I, he do that I don't know I don't know but again maybe there was something at training that we didn't see maybe he got a little knock like Saka did before before the quarterfinal as well and could not be in the squad and and we just don't know about it. but it was really strange it was really strange finally on the England point and I raised the Declan Rice issue because yeah. all right, at the start of the tournament you went with uh, Rice because Henderson wasn't fully fit and I don't have an issue with keeping Rice if he's performing. I did feel like last night, Rice was maybe the only England player who had a poor game. Yeah. I, and I don't just mean with the ball, because we know that he's... I don't know if he's limited with the ball or he's just asked to be to do that. Hey, but I do wonder, Henderson's fully fit. Henderson gives you love. Henderson's got the experience. Is that a change you would make? I would change one of the two, Rice or Phillips. But again, this is not my cup of tea. This is not the way I would set up my England team if I was Southgate right now. I would not play like this. So it's very hard for me to say, but I would not start. Or, or then you would not start Mount and you play Henderson, Rice and Phillips. Oh my God, that would be horrendous though. But, but, but then, I mean, come but on, you're England, you're at home and you play. Yeah, yeah. But uh, that's why I would not pass Southgate to do Why do you do that like and that? then also play a back three then while no, you're no, at it? No, but I would Put not Mings pass Southgate and Cody doing at that. Fullback. <laughs> I mean, seriously, come As on. Wide, wide players. Yeah, as I wingers. Know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I said I think he, w- he would keep exactly the same team. I don't think he would change anything. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.